Meanwhile, early voting is underway for Tuesday's primary election, and voters are confused why they might be seeing double on their ballots. Yeah, some think maybe it's a mistake, but local leaders are clarifying this afternoon. In fact, it is not. Fox Live's Clara Benitez live for us from the Registrar of Voters in Kearney Mesa to clear it all up for us. Clara. Well, Andrew and Maria, the San Diego Democratic um, Party says that they received several phone calls about uh, confusion on their ballot on why they had to vote twice for a specific candidate. Now, they did mention today that today is just, uh, well, this election is a special election, um, and it's a very unique one. If you're a voter in South Bay, in South County, and you think you're seeing double, you're not. You think there's a misprint, it's not. Chula Vista City Council member Steve Padilla clarifying those in the 80th Assembly District will have to vote twice. First, to fill Lorena Gonzalez's vacancy, and second, for the regular term starting next year. One is to fill out the term of former Assembly member Lorena Gonzalez in her current district, which runs through the end of the year. It's important that voters understand that, it's not a mistake. And then we just went through redistricting, so there are new districts. So this is also the primary battle for the election to the full term in the new district, which is slightly different and has slightly different boundaries. As for the rest of California, voters first need to decide who will finish out the term for U.S. Senator after appointment. And second, who will take the full six-year term. In particular, uh, to choose a United States Senator from California, who is filling out the balance of a term to which he was appointed and seeking a term in his own right, Alex Padilla. Alex Padilla was appointed to fill Kamala Harris's vacancy when she was sworn in as vice president of the United States last year. Now voters decide if he stays or goes. Councilmember Padilla clarifies you can vote twice for the same person. It's lawful and it's supposed to be like that and the ballot was intentionally laid out that way because of these weird circumstances. Padilla says after hearing a lot of confusion from voters, there should be more clarification. If there's an area where we should be clear and consistent, it's in our election materials, it's in explaining what is at stake to voters because there are a lot of confused voters out there. Now, you do have until June 7th, which is next Tuesday, to drop off your mail-in ballot, or you can just vote in person on June 7th. Now, we do have all that information on fox5sandiego.com slash elections. Reporting live here from Kearney Mesa, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.